What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today, we're doing things a little bit differently. We are showing you guys what Asian food looks like in America, or at least Americanized Asian food. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot, uh, all these foods exist in Asia, well, so, just differently. Yeah, so what Alex was telling me is, is the names of these foods, you guys would be like, what the hell is this? was his exact <laughs> words so uh so we've got chow mein orange chicken and general Tao's chicken and he said you probably can't find these dishes in malaysia okay he said it's it's not very common at all now these are dishes that we've grown up with um, yeah yeah very popular in the u.s yeah after having traditional malaysian dishes i've came to realize that the American versions are very sweet. Yeah, yeah. Lots of sugar <laughs> and very, very... I mean, they're delicious. Don't get me wrong. I'm yeah. not going to change my mind on them. <laughs> they're just very loaded with sugar. Yeah. So. Uh, before we get started, I did want to go ahead and thank our three newest YouTube members. We've got Ricky North Borneo. Thank you so much. Nar Wright. Thank you. And Luna Aurora. Thank you, Luna. And actually, me and Luna were talking last night, and she was saying that we need to do some more stuff on the eastern side of Malaysia. Okay. So we need to focus on that. Yeah. So in the future, keep your eyes out. And if you've got some... Peeled, whatever the word is. <laughs> if you've got some eastern uh, Malaysian recommendations, hop on down to the link in our description. It'll be a link to our Discord. Hop on our Discord, become a member. It's free. It's awesome. We're making great friends, and there are suggestion boxes for videos, as well as we're still hoping to get 15,000 subscribers by uh, April, April 20th. 20th. Absolutely. We've got, by the time this video comes out, 11 days left. So it's a lofty goal, but it's okay. If we hit it, Fez is going to get this tattoo right here. Mm -hmm. And if we hit it, I am going to get a tattoo that you guys decide will be permanently placed on my body interesting so and just for the record if i don't seem spry like normal i just started taking a new medication my body is exhausted so i apologize so let's go ahead and crack into this first dish we got the top the camera, camera going. going so all right so we're going to go ahead and crack into the chow mein so the chow mein is a healthier dish uh, it's got more vegetables in it some chicken and it's cooked with a white sauce um, See, I was thinking lo mein, I believe, where it's got the noodles mm -hmm. and then it's got a meat with it or something like that. I'm not really sure. Yeah, so the chow mein is just vegetables and chicken. Um, so we can go ahead and crack into that and take a bite. And as I said, this one's a healthier dish, so it's not as sweet as normal. Uh, that looks delicious. Yeah, so I see, what is that, cabbage? Uh, Carrots, of course you got your broccoli, you got chicken, uh, you got some type of mushrooms, you got beans, yeah. I think that's a green bean. Yeah, green beans, that's the word I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of chicken. <laughs> <More garbage. laughs> I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Ugh, that's the world's oh, that's largest bite. fat bite. I'm going to go this route. Got a little bit of everything. I didn't. <laughs> Let's dance. Let's see. Yeah. Tell us what you guys think about these uh, dual colors, by the way, for the background. I, I think it really makes my skin pop. Boop. Mm. Mm hmm. I ain't complaining. American Asian food is good. So I wouldn't say that's sweet at all. No, so again, this is a healthier dish. Mm -hmm. So it's not supposed to, this is zucchini. So uh, this one's not gonna be sweet. This is probably one of the healthier versions of Asian food in America. And these are dishes that you're gonna find at just about every Asian restaurant in America. And for my nerds, lttstore.com. <laughs> Maybe it'll sponsor us. So, I'll go ahead and throw these on here too. These are 
wonton strips or wonton chips. See, now I've never done this. I I use these in our in wonton soup. Yeah. So Alex said they can be added to this as well. So it's pretty much just wonton. You can't see that. <laughs> wonton. <laughs> Is it even focused? No. That's okay. You get to just. Yeah. It's a wonton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best. Well, it is on Facebook. Yeah. If you guys are members, you've already seen the vlog that I posted, which would have been earlier by the time this Focus. video comes out. Focus. But I did a vlog at Secret Recipe and. Yeah, a vlog. I think it's a vlog. No, I did a vlog. And uh, I tried a new dish there as well. So hop on there if you're not a member. Go check out the vlog, it's awesome. These are good though. Yeah. So before we hop into the second dish, I'm gonna show you guys another thing that usually comes with every, especially a to-go meal, but every meal you get at an Asian restaurant in the United States typically comes with a little goodie bag. First in the goodie bag, you'll see your fortune cookies. Alex said they're not super popular in Malaysia, but you're gonna get a fortune cookie with every meal. It's S guaranteed. Stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see what our fortunes are. You're also going to get Soy sauce. Always a good one. Panda mustard. Panda, panda, panda. And duck sauce. Quack. And a lot of times there's uh, fish sauce as well. Uh, I don't think there's any in this one. But it's a guaranteed you're going to get your uh, fortune cookies and typically some sauces as well. So let's go ahead and move that one to the side and we will open up this next one which is General Tao's chicken I'm not sure who General Tao is and I'm not sure I mean, I'm not sure uh, why he came up with this chicken I'm not complaining it's good chicken and I've always been told it was General So so I guess I'm wrong my bad <laughs> it's good chicken though uh, I enjoy it, but again, it's it's a very sweet chicken. Let's go ahead and throw some rice on our plates. So I understand that rice is a main dish for y'all, but here in the states, rice has always been, even in Mexican culture, it's a it's the side dish. So it's kind of a I'm about to get butchered for doing this with a with a fork with a fork. That's why I brought in some spoons. But it's like really sticky, so. And typically, I will say the average person actually gets fried rice, not white rice, generally speaking. All right, so let's get a couple of these bad boys. Actually, go ahead and show them this dish. Yeah, so that's, that's so a this, this is the General Tao's chicken. Again, if you guys know who General Tao is, please let us know in the comments. I'd like to meet him. He makes good chicken. Just gonna grab a couple pieces of that. And I actually haven't had General Tao chicken in a long time, so I can't quite remember the actual taste of it. But I haven't had General Tao. Uh, all honesty, the last dish that we're going to do is the most common one that I do get. I think it's the most common in the United States. Oh, like, easily. Everybody knows what orange chicken is. Yeah. All right. This on the spoon with the rice. Get my chicken. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. A little kick to it. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's definitely sweet. 
try this uh, cold broccoli. So let us know if you've seen these dishes before, if there's anything that you could think it compares to authentic wise. Um, Cause like I said, Alex said when he came to the United States from KL, he didn't recognize any of these dishes. He, uh, he looked at him and he was like, what is this and who is general tell <laughs> um so yeah let us know in the comments if you've seen these dishes before in any parts of your area and what you think about them we'll go ahead and hop on to this last one and then we'll hop into our fortune cookies so contrary to the name this is orange chicken which is not dark chicken. Not orange at all. A lot of areas, orange chicken will be orange. This one's been used, this one has uh, quite a bit of soy sauce in it. So that's the reasoning for the dark coloration. But the sauce is super thick with orange chicken. The reason I'm not talking so much is because Miles was there to get uh, to explain, <laughs> and I'm just kind of enjoying myself eating. I'm yeah. a slow chewer. And I just brought dinner home for him, so <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so this is going to be the at least should be the sweetest out of the Big three dishes. Bite. Plus, I take too big a bite. Always my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah, if I'm going with an Americanized Asian dish, it's typically orange chicken. Mm -hmm. Just because it's... These dishes are super flavorful, but in a completely different type of way than traditional Malaysian food. Oh, yeah. Traditional Malaysian food isn't as sweet, and it has more natural flavoring in it. Mm -hmm. And so it's, in my opinion, it's more bold of a flavor. It's more diverse. There's so many different things that go into a Malaysian dish. Whereas this is pretty much just meat fried with sweet sauces. That was too big of a bite. <laughs> Did you try those green beans? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah, I got one. I've never had these kind of green beans before, so that is good. It's almost like edamame. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop open my fortune cookie because oh. I need some good luck. We all do. When I open this, maybe it'll say someone will gift you two trips to Malaysia. And then it's gotta come true. So there's really no meaning behind fortune cookies. They were made in America? California. California is where fortune cookies originated from. Now the cookie itself, the type of cookie it is, was actually made in, I believe, China. Mm -hmm. But then they the made- mm -hmm. So growing up, even though these have no meaning behind them whatsoever, I've always been told that you open the cookie you read your fortune and then eat the you have to eat the cookie for the fortune to come true. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of these halves in my mouth. See, this isn't even a fortune. <laughs> it's like an old wives tale or something like that. You wanna read yours first or mine first? We do. The future is the most expensive luxury in the world. So mine sure, I guess. says grasp opportunities to create the future. Say it again? Grasp opportunities to create the future. 
That's a pretty good statement. But it's, it's not, not a, a fortune. It's a statement. A fortune. The fortune cookie itself is, is okay, though. You have to watch out, though, if you come to America and you get fortune cookies. They might be stale sometimes. So. Oh, yeah. Pretty much all the time. That's why I don't eat them. I'm about to tear this food up. So, with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out. Peace.